Welcome to a rare video where I'm going to be praising the government and Sajid Javid. I know, it's, it's crazy and I'm not drunk, everything's fine, but they've done something right. Firstly, Sajid Javid in the House of Commons was debating with Wes Streeting, the future potential Tony Blair of the Labour Party. He wants to be leader, basically. Uh, Wes Streeting was ranting about how we need wokeism and progressism and you know the whole all the usual virtual signaling nonsense in the nhs and for the first time sajid javid slammed him destroyed him as they say uh, by, by um, scrapping the nhs woke agenda and that's a good good start first let's go to west streeting and then we'll see what he has to say too often senior leadership of the nhs is in a place where it still doesn't represent the diversity of the population it serves. So instead of throwing red meat to his own back benches, for reasons I think will probably be obvious to everyone, I'd like to hear how in particular he intends to ensure that equality, diversity and inclusion will be improved so we get the best leaders incentivised into the most challenging roles and able to provide inclusive health care for the breadth of diversity of our great country. I'm very interested to ask Mr Streeting, when he talks about and we need better representation inside the NHS, the people that uh, essentially treat us. Uh, so you, you need to make sure that everybody who works for the NHS looks different from all groups, right? Uh, you do realize historically and even right now in every single country, every healthcare system, the majority of the majority of the majority of nurses are female. Does that mean that we now have to also complain and fight back against that and say, well, we need to make sure that half the nurses are male. Of course, he's not going to be talking about that because he doesn't really care about that. But firstly, you shouldn't care about that. It's nonsense. <laughs> but while we're fine with having the majority of nurses female, it doesn't really hurt us when it comes to actual getting treatment, right? So it doesn't really matter if the rest of the healthcare system uh, are whether they are white or non-white or this or that or have pink hair or not. Just get your job done. This is Sajid Javid's response because absolutely it's very important that we put more pressure on the Tory government so now that they are weak and now that they know that if they don't get their act together they will definitely lose the next election. This is a pressure that we need to put on people like Sajid Javid and Boris Johnson and for the first time it's starting to work but don't get too optimistic because it's not fully done yet. This doesn't mean more people working in diversity but fewer. In my view there are already too many of these roles. And at a time when our constituents are facing some real pressures around the cost of living, we must spend every penny with care. Instead of farming out important work to a specific group of managers, it must be seen as everyone's responsibility, with everyone accountable for extending fairness and equal opportunities at work. Well, that, that's good. Fair enough. We, know we don't need more of those work diversity officers. But that's enough of praising them because, again, because I'm not a Tory and I've been criticizing the Tories until now. We need, we need to make sure that we don't just randomly celebrate because we've heard all these things before. You know, we, we've heard a lot of good rhetoric. We need action and we need more action and we need, we need, we need it to be consistent. So, you know what I'm going to say? And are you going to write a comment? I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, it's, it's good that to put more pressure to make sure that we try our best to make them a little bit more conservative even if they don't believe it we're gonna come back subscribe to the channel i'm my tc and we are the media